Hello, today I'm going to show you how to make a window box that will attract lots of wonderful wildlife into the garden. We're going to attract bees and butterflies and hoverflies, all kinds of wondrous things. So your garden will be literally bursting with nature. Now, as with any container, it's really important to add drainage to the bottom. Um, this has already got gaps in it, so I don't need to drill any holes. But if you have a container that's got no holes in the bottom, it's really important that you add drainage holes. Now I'm going to add a nice layer of gravel to the bottom, a couple of inches thick. So there we go, it's about an inch deep in the bottom and again that will just help with drainage because no plants enjoy sitting in water, they need to be watered but if they sit in water it will cause a lot of plants to rot unless it's a pond plant. Next thing I've got some peat free compost to go in. Now I've got a lovely array of plants that I know will attract lots of wonderful insects and wildlife into the garden. And one of the first plants I'm going to put in is this scabious. Now I've grown scabious in my own garden and it will flower reliably for at least six months of the year, which is amazing for one plant, as long as you keep deadheading it. And by deadheading, when the flower has gone over and started to look brown, you follow the stem all the way down and you nip it off there with a pair of secateurs and then that will make the plants end up new flowers all the way through the summer time. So it's wonderful for flowering. But it's also brilliant for butterflies. They absolutely love the stuff. Um, so it's a must, I think. Then the next plant I've got is a rosemary. Now rosemary is wonderful because it's evergreen. It also has a lovely blue flower on. Now blue flowers are brilliant for attracting um, bees. They can see blue a lot more than any other colour. So if you want lots of bees in your garden, plant blue flowers. There we go. And then the next plant I've got to put in is this, which is a pulmonaria. Now, bees, bumblebees and honeybees absolutely love this. It's blue again, you can see, and it's excellent for early nectar. So in springtime, it's really important that we have lots of flowers in the garden for those bumblebees as they're just coming out of their hibernation, their sleep over the winter where they've been dormant and they really need that early nectar in the garden. So planting things that flower early in the year are brilliant. Then one of my all time favourite spring flowers are these, which is snakes head fritillary. They're so beautiful, they're nodding heads. And again, these will attract loads of different hoverflies, bumblebees, honeybees. So they're excellent for putting in a trough like this. So I'm going to pop them at the back with their jingly jangly heads. Now it's really important that we attract lots of wildlife into our gardens because we want to improve biodiversity and biodiversity is measured based on how many species live in one area or habitat. And if you want to increase the number of species in your garden, then it's about creating different habitats, as many different habitats as possible to entice as many different creatures into the garden as possible. Now you can see that I've used my rosemary at the back because I know that'll get nice and tall, as will my scabious. In a couple of weeks, the fritillary will die back and I won't see them. But then this pulmonaria is nice and low, so it will kind of co cover the dying foliage of these at the back and give me some lovely attractive foliage all tumbling over the front. And then I've got a lovely little primula vulgaris, which is such a beautiful color. And again, this is really nice and low at the front. So I'll lower things at the front and taller things at the back. And then I'll place this on my windowsill with the taller things closest to the window. So you kind of got this nice tiered effect going down. And then in the back here, I've got these, which are muscari, which are brilliant as well for early nectar. And again, blue. And I'm gonna pop them at the back to kind of give me a lovely bit of height. You'll be amazed at how quickly insects will find this. Within 20 minutes, it will be covered. Okay, I'm just gonna to top up with soil now in and around the rest of those plants. And I've got another one of these to pop in the front. So there we have it, a window box that will mean that your garden is bursting with nature. It's so beautiful, I'm really pleased with it. I'm gonna give it a water now, so make sure you keep on top of the watering throughout the summer months. Also, don't forget to deadhead these scabious because it will mean they'll flower right through till October. And for more how-to videos, visit Jordan Serial Facebook or Instagram page.